Hi friends, it's Stephanie with Steps on a Budget. Welcome back for another video. Um, thanks for returning to all my subscribers and welcome if you're new. Um, on this channel, we are all about zero-based budgeting. So you will find budget with me's, cash stuffings, savings challenges, all that good jazz, debt updates. Um, yeah, so if you're new and that interests you, please hit that subscribe button. But welcome back friends, we are going to be doing our savings challenges for this payday. I am super excited because we had more money than I was anticipating, which is always so much fun. And that, I mean, who doesn't like more money? <laughs> okay, so I think, I think I have 122. Um, so let's, let's take a look and see what we've got. So we'll start by counting our money and then we'll get into these challenges. So we've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yay! Okay, so 122, which is awesome. I think that might be one of our highest amounts for savings challenges, which is always fun. So money over here. Um, I am going to start with our, uh, our Harry Potter $300 envelope savings challenge because last time... <laughs> <laughs> Wendy over at the Thrifty Sellist took all my money and I didn't really get to stuff as much as I was hoping. So uh, this is a challenge that I made myself. So in total, we'll save $300. So um, each envelope, you just pick the denomination and as you stuff an envelope, you mark off that amount. So we're getting close. I think we're at 175, so we're a little bit past halfway. And what I'm wanting to do today is, um, I think what I am going to do is do a 20 and a 15. So 35 total in here. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's just do it. Okay. Let me get my Sharpies out. I had to think about it long and hard, you guys. <laughs> okay. So if we do a 15, that's blue. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark them off and then I'll stuff the envelopes. Okay. And then we will stuff a 20. You guys look at that we're almost done almost completely done with the last row other than this 115 okay so we're gonna pull out a 20 and then we need a 15 for that other envelope so what we're gonna do on this one is um, so essentially like I said you just stuff an envelope and we're gonna flip to our little Frenchie this adorable little paper clip that I got as a freebie from Janelle Ray budgets so uh, we will stuff 20 into our first envelope into Slytherin. And then um, our next one is Harry. Hopefully there's not a terrible glare, you guys, because I've got the ring light on today. Um, and there is. So let me pop open the blinds. We'll get a little bit of natural light going and I'll turn, sorry, that was noisy. And I'll turn the ring light off and hopefully that's better. Okay. And then our second envelope is gonna get that 15. So 15 into Harry, yay, two more done. And then we will mark our next envelope with our little paper clip. Awesome. How exciting, you guys. Okay, that is our $300 Harry Potter envelope savings challenge. I'm gonna put it away because I have officially run out of space on the desk today, you guys. Okay, let's pull in our next binder and let's as always start with our dice challenge from Budget with Ira. Okay, look, we've got our dice roller today. I'm gonna pull this out. Okay, and here's what we're working with, you guys. So we're gonna get our 20-sided dice, which is this one right here, and in it goes. Oh, yay, we got a 19. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, our first 19. So let's mark off the 19. And hopefully there's a one and we can just give ourselves some change. Okay. Ooh, another big number down. You know, I love it when we get those big numbers. Oh, and of course, there's no one today. <laughs> Go figure. Okay, so... We're gonna add in a 10, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh no, that took all our ones. But I know we have some ones um, in some other places. So we'll just grab from there. Okay, so there's that and that 10. And we're not gonna count this one yet, but we're nearing, well, not really, but that much closer to 400, you guys. That's our next 100 milestone. And when we're all done, we'll have saved a total of 1,050 in this challenge. And I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna use that for. I'm thinking probably just savings. Um, okay, so next up we have our Lazy Sloth and I have been ignoring that one completely for the last couple of times. So I want to definitely make sure I do a little something in this guy today. So let me pull it out. There he is. And so this is a sticker challenge from Janelle Ray Budgets. And essentially I got to pick the amount that each sloth was worth. Um, when we save, when we're completely finished, we'll save 150. So I think what we'll do is go ahead and do two of our little sloths today. So that'll be $10. Okay, and I'm gonna finish this row over here. That's what I told myself, right you guys? So that they were kind of going opposite ways. All right, this guy looks cute right here. And one more. Let's do this little guy up here. So we've got two more sloths for $10 in our Lazy Sloth sticker challenge. Okay, so $10, there we go. All right, and so in this one, we now have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. Okay. Perfect. Okay, we'll come back to that one. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Dare we even do this today? Okay, so next up, we're going to do Rolling the Rainbow from Wendy over at the Thrifty Sewist. So let me pull out my rainbow dice for this one, you guys. They're somewhere. Okay. All right, and I've been taking a page out of Snow Gardener 307 Marlene. Um, and the way she's been doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. I had to split it in two envelopes just to make it fit because I'm an A6 gal. I probably should just move the savings challenge to an A5 because they hold a little bit more money for longer. All right, I'm gonna move the binder out of the way just for a quick second. So I've just divvied these up. So we've got blue, green, and the bonus. And last time we stuffed blue and green and the blue killed me with 25. And then this one has purple, yellow, and orange. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is roll all the dice and we will pick the ones with the, we did the lowest last time, so we'll pick the two highest this time, you guys. And okay, so purple, and then we have a tie between red and green. So let's roll these guys. Oh, a tie again, geez, okay. Red, purple and red today, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have such anxiety with this one now. All right, okay, let's roll. Oh, perfect, and they are in this same envelope together. That works out beautifully, so let's stick these over here and yellow can hang out. Okay, purple, red. Oh, both are gonna get a three. Okay, let me find my little scratching tool. Um, where is it? There it is, okay. Can you guys see okay, you're in frame? So three for both of them. Okay, let's start with purple, here we go. Oh lordy, yay. Oh gosh. A six. Okay. I can handle a six. That's a nice, friendly number. <laughs> okay. So we've got six there and red three. Here we go. A one. Oh, yay. <laughs> I'm so happy. That's awesome. 
what a difference compared to last week's you guys i a 25 and a 10 i think is what i had so that's great okay um let me give this a try my little desk vacuum here let's see if it works perfect okay all right so six into purple and i'll just stick it behind the card and then one into our lovely red yay <laughs> my stomach doesn't hurt quite as much now oops sorry for that really big bump you guys okay let's stick these three back in here hey and we have quite a bit of money left over so maybe we'll come back okay that takes care of that one. All right, then we have um, our Alice, and I'm gonna go ahead and make some change out of this just really quick, you guys. So one, two, three, four, five. Whoops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And I'll take a 10, because this guy was just getting really chunky. Okay. So for this game, this one is from Denise over at Loving Life at 60-ish. Her Etsy shop is the Fairy Rose Cottage. And this is her challenge. So um, I'm going to pull out my purple marker. And I think it was this one because we're still working our first time out. And we'll go ahead and roll our six-sided die. And we'll just move along the game board here. So four. One, two, three, four. So there's a dollar. And then we will color this one in. Is that the right purple, you guys? No, it's not, is it? Why do I keep doing that? Grr! Is it this one? Yes, totally this one. Not that it matters, okay. <laughs> All right, let's definitely go again. A six, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's go one more time at least. But see, isn't that weird? Like this looks lighter, but colors darker. And then this looks darker, but colors lighter. That's why I'm always getting it confused. That doesn't make any sense, Mr. Pen. Okay, one more time. Five, one, two, three, four, five. And we got a five. think that is good. So I need to make change. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, we'll put back and we'll take a 10. So we should have seven, eight, nine, 10, 13, and we do 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. Hey, we're almost our first time out of the spiral. And then we'll just start back at the beginning and go again. Okay, so we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 67. This is actually like a bigger challenge. Um, it's like 270 something. I, I noticed that last time, like a lot of my challenges are kind of large. Okay, so that takes care of that one. And then in our binder, we have a scratch off from Ren over at Mischief Managed Budgets. And we will roll a 12 sided die, and that will tell us which one to pick. Oh, that was a 20. My bad. <laughs> Try again. Uh, that looks like a 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this one here. And we got an 8. Eight. We've got quite a bit left here, don't we, guys? So um, let's put two dollars back and we'll take this ten. How does that sound? Um, 
we could go in and do that last 20 in our Harry Potter. What to do, what to do. Actually, let's, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Okay, sorry, you guys. Let me know, do you have issues figuring out <laughs> what savings challenges to work on? I guess that's the problem when you've got so many, in, you know, that you're working on at one time. But we did at least get through the whole binder this time, I think. So I actually think um, since we stuffed two in our Harry Potter, let's go ahead and give our dice challenge another roll. And what we get is what we get. Okay. So now we need the 20. And here we go. We got a 13. Okay. Can I do that? Yes, because we put some change in there. So 13. That's awesome. Okay. So if I give myself $7 back, right guys? Are you with me? Then I can take the 20. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. You get over there. You get over here. <laughs> cool. Kind of two bigger ones on this one today. That's awesome. Okay. And then we still have five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, I think I know exactly what I'm going to do. So let's flip over here. And this one is um, my little puppy sweet savings um, from the Almost Organized Owl here on YouTube and Owl Save Wisely on Etsy. I remembered this time. I'm going to put $2 into here. And we'll color in another one of our strawberries. And this is the same. See, look, you guys, this, this one is like that too. If I can find it. Not that you probably care. See, this one looks like it'd be hot pink, right? And would be this one. And this looks like it would be that color. Oh, it is. <laughs> Ignore me. Okay, this one's fine. This one's normal. <laughs> I was totally thinking they were like backwards like the purple too because I can't ever remember but uh, you know that's I'm just being picky who cares okay two dollars into there and guess what that leaves us fifteen dollars so we are going to go into the Harry Potter and finish that last 15 and then we are down to the final row which is awesome okay so we're going to take care of this last 15. And then we just have, have that left. So what is that? 25, 45, 60, 70, $75 left. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. Let's flip back here and let's just make sure I got it right. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep. Perfect. That's exciting. That's exciting. I really want to get this one done. So we are almost there. Five more envelopes, you guys. Cool. Okay. That takes care of all of our money. We have officially run out. So we didn't, I mean, we got through all of them, which is great. Um, I'm, I don't think I'm quite ready to add any new ones because these are larger and I want to get them done so I can add in some new ones because stay tuned for another video, you guys. I'm going to do a, a August Etsy haul. <laughs> so needless to say, August, I went a little Etsy crazy. You guys are just so creative and um, bought a bunch of savings challenges. And so September is definitely like a no spend for me um, as far as Etsy goes. So I need to work through some of these that I purchased, but um, I, I feel good. I was really tempted to add one in, but I'm glad I didn't because I want to get some of these finished and then we'll start some new ones here soon. But that is going to take care of it for our savings challenges this week, guys. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next one, friends. Bye.